What's up, man? We're Jungle Beats. A woman? I'm Panda King, and this is Grizzly Bear. Yuck. We cook the, the hottest avocado soup in the South. Mm-hmm. You, ne- you ever had avocado soup? It's delicious. That monounsaturated fat. Exactly. Just mix it. 12 avocados in soup-like, and then salt, butter, vegetable stock, and one more avocado, and onion, and leek, and bamboo. It's great. Um, Little Wayne just dropped a single. And I'm not sure if it's called Hercules. It's called Hercules on Reddit, but it's called Sorry for the Skate on YouTube. Uh, so either one. They're both the right. He, he's come off pretty hot from dropping Dedication. I think it was... Uh, 17? <laughs> I think it was 17. It was Dedication 6 or 5, but then he also had another one. So he released two Dedication tapes, and I was very impressed with them because he came back with, like, sort of, you know, still doing half order tune, still doing half not, but obviously his Dedication tapes were famous for jumping other people's beats. And Lil Wayne, I believe, is the reason why a lot of artists did that all throughout the early 2000s. He had a huge influence on this culture. Huge influence on this. He's the reason why mixtape culture is so big. No doubt. He is. And um, he's still keeping it alive. And he had a lot of good tracks in there. He definitely, when he did a little Uzi's XO Tour Life, he was amazing on that. He was really good on Jay Z's, um, uh, what's the second track called? The Story of OJ. He did his own version, which was really good. I haven't heard that. He did his own thing. Uh, his, his own, own one. It was really good. So I was actually very impressed with Dedication Tapes. A good third of them I was really impressed with obviously that's not much but when you've got like 40 tracks and you're not used to hearing Wayne spit yeah and he Wayne was spitting on some of those tracks he was spitting man he didn't take breaths for like four minutes so I'm, I'm very excited to see what he's got I believe he's back sorry for the skate Oh, yeah, 
shirts, hot socks Music is all about sky Niggas is squares, hot scotch Time out, nah nah I got songs you dry out I'm big boss, you big my this looks like just a loosey goosey. I mean, correct us if we're wrong. It's just a YouTube video of him skating and shit and his friends. Cool. So, um. They better be Lucy's. <laughs> Too much auto tune. I got over it, man. By the time I hit the middle, I'm like, fuck, the beat was so hard and it worked with me so well. I'm like, fuck, I don't care that anymore. Was the, the interlude didn't need a beat at the start. And the first track, the one with the big, the big sound and beat, it didn't need that last verse. It was over. The beat was the main highlight of that song. And in the middle of that song, I was getting into it because Little Wayne's autotune sounded good. But in the beginning, it sounded comedic and I fucking lost my shit because it was so fucking bad. And towards the end, like you're saying, I got fucking over it. He needed to mix it up. He needed to have some autotune and some non-autotune to keep me interested. Because straight autotune Wayne, it, it only works fucking some of the time. I think if he just stripped back the autotune, that could be an even doper track. Exactly. Or at least half the song, no auto tune. If you want to, you know, spice that's, it up. That's what I. That's what I wanted. I wanted. I wanted him spin bars, but then also adding the auto tune as well, because he sounds good with auto tune parts. Like in the middle, he sounded dope. And then towards the end, there, I don't know, man. Not not big on these. They're not that good. You know, the beats, the main thing. I reckon. Just fuck it. I'm not gonna listen to this again. Sorry, little Wayne. I think he goes hard enough, man. I'm reading the comments right now, and um, look. He's fucking skating better and he's going hard. He's <laughs> skating better. Yeah. I remember when like, he was like at his, I don't know what tour it was, but like one of his tours, he was like, had like the ramp on stage and he was like skating on the really? ramp. Really? While yeah. he was rapping? I don't know if it was while he was rapping, but he was just like skating on up and down. And apparently he was just like really average, but shout out to him doing his thing. Doing his thing, doing his, on this track or on the stage? On the stage, man. Like, when you're skating, and if you ain't a good skater and you're learning to skate and you're big enough to put a ramp on stage and skate, skate on stage in front of all your fans when you're not that good at, but that, you, at that age, that's pretty big, man. I mean, if you're putting on a great performance at the same time, that's great, but it sounded like they didn't really fuck with it. Did they? The, the fans? Yeah. No, the fans didn't mind it. I think a lot of people thought he was fake in a way because he started to get, like, all about that skater life, you know? He's always been about that in a way because, you know, the piercings and the tattoos and stuff. But then he started doing it a lot. And I guess a lot of people were just like, why are you doing this? Like, you don't even know how to skate that well. Only, well, you got to learn somehow. Well, that's the thing. That's what, I, that's what I thought. I was like, if he wants to learn, he wants to do it, do it. But then a lot of the diehards were just like, why are you, like, repping this lifestyle when you've only been in it for, like, a bit? Mm, and, and, yeah, I guess it's like a bandwagon type thing. It's like Whatever. when Lupe Fiasco did the song called Kick Push about, for the skaters, but he doesn't skate at all, so... Anyway, man, that's Hercules, Hercules by Lil Wayne. Forgettable. Man, I thought it went hard, man. I can fuck with it. I can get over the uh, auto tune. I'm good with it. So, um, Lil Wayne, man. I am not good with just it. Just don't drop us a 30 track album, please. Thank you. Oh, uh, I'm leaving my god, bro. Glory. I'm Aqua Cuckoo. I turn your fruit loop to chocolate, you who? I'm hotter than Honolulu. My clothes and socks and shoes new. I've been to Boo Boo since God.